This is Blender. Let's make a traffic cone, which is a great way to get more acquainted with the manipulation of shapes, uh, the use of lines. I'm going to hide camera and uh, the light because I want to. Uh, makes it easier to focus. And I'm going to delete this cube. And so it also will let us explore using a cylinder, which might not be what you would think. You might think we would need to use a cone, but the cylinder is actually definitely going to be better for this especially with the use of loop cut. Um, we don't need a full 32. Let's go to 24. That should be sufficient for vertices. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here. Let's take a look. So we want the height to be twice as the size of a base. So for Z, I'm going to put a two here. And that is great. And we can already now dive into edit mode. Okay. So for the size of the of the cone. Let's go to face mode and the opening on top of a traffic cone is about 10% as big as the base. So I'm going to go ahead and say resize and we're going to go and so if we want this to be 10% as big we need 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and that would be a traffic cone size roughly okay some of them are as wide we are going to check as 0 0.15 and that's actually looking better so we're going to do that 0 0.15 great now let's do some loop cuts the loop cuts are going to be used for the coloring of our cone so i'm going to grab our loop cut and click and then we need We're going to need four cuts for five different areas. Okay, and that's looking awesome thus far. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. I'm going to start getting the color added. So first off, actually, let's, well, add a color. I'm going to hit new, and this is going to be, I'll just call it our orange. The color is actually called safety orange, which, yes, is a thing. And I got the hex of it, so I'm going to enter the hex code, put it, and that's FF6700. And it is called Safety Orange, if you don't believe me. You should go look it up. I found that entertaining. Uh, yep, and that's great. So now let's go ahead and have X-ray mode on like I had. I'm going to click on X because we need to alternate. So with select mode, with face select, I'm going to grab these guys. I'm going to hold shift and also grab this. And we're going to add a white color, so new, white. And usually the white is that reflective material, so we're going to actually make it an emission color. And uh, a 1 is good. We might go 0.5 because it's not an actual light. It is an emission. And let's go ahead and click Assign. Okay. And click off. Let's take a look outside of X-ray mode. Let me go... Yeah, this is already looking real nice. Okay, back into edit mode. Now, let's go ahead and look at, take a look at the top of this. So our cone is closed off. That is not how cones are. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what I'm going to do here is a face inset. And just a little bit to give it a lip like the real rubber cone would have. So, whoop, 0 0.03 is, yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. So that's great. And then I'm going to do a mesh delete face because I don't need that center there. All right. This is coming along. So now let's go add a plane. Okay. And let me look. It's right here. And so we're going to want to whoop. And yep, you want negative point, uh, negative two. Okay, I'm going to do like a 0.1 because we're going to extrude it up. All right, so that's looking good. Let's take a look from the top. All right, so we do want to resize it. So click on resize and I'm going to pull. And that's actually what I was thinking is 1.1 maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe, a, let's see what 1.2 looks like. Yep, 1.2 it is. Okay, so now with that resize, 
Let me go to select mode, click on our face again. I'm going to do an extrude. And I'm just going to go up. So we have a 0.1 below. So let's go up 1.2 just to make sure it is actually in contact with our object. And that is great. And with all of this selected, I'm going to go ahead and go, I could do line mode. What I'm going to do though, I want you to be able to see, is I'm going to bevel these edges. So bevel, click and pull. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. 0 0.03 is great. And then I want to grab, let's use select mode. And I'm going to take, I'm holding, sh oop, I'm going to just click this edge and I'm going to hold shift. I only want these tiny little, tiny little ones. And turn here. I'm holding shift. And one more. Okay. Now with all of those selected, I'm going to do another bevel. This one, not so much. Uh, 0 0.03 is good here as well. That's looking nice. Let's go ahead and go back into object mode and render view. Let me pull this up. Let's actually view here first. Awesome. So a few things left. Let's uh, go ahead and render, obviously, but let me turn on the light. Ba-da! And boom. See where our light is. Ah, yes. And we want a sun. Let's do a six for our sun. And then a, I'm going to see camera. Okay. And then first. Okay. And now I'm going to do object duplicate on my light. Pull up this y axis, yeah, negative 0.6 is great. And then just turn it. And let's take a look. Awesome. And I'm just going to move my whole thing back. And let's go ahead and manipulate the camera. Sidebar, view, lock, zoom out. Perfect. And now on the object, let's make sure to do a shade smooth. Boom. Gives it a real nice look. Let me see here. On my lights, do I want a shadow? Hmm. Okay. And then boom. I like to use transparent. And let's go ahead and render. But a uh, uh, fancy road cone, perfect for use in games and just for learning. Hopefully you have an awesome road cone too. If you have questions, comment below. Make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies and ta-da!